And we're back. We've got a race into space to do. But we don't have any missions. Yet. Also in West Pakistan, a train done crashed. Tragic, I know. But more importantly, we have to go against those darn Soviets. And we've done all our research that we can do. So let's see what happens in our next six months. Good evening, developments in the news today. The space program has announced that this year there will be a promising crop of college graduates. R&D will improve from this development. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkright. Well, I'm getting rather lucky this turn. Our playthrough. A lot of R&D help. And President Eisenhower is trying to be... diplomatic by sending troops to war. See, this stuff didn't start. Oh yeah, I should mention some of the history that led up to this. Well, you know, after World War II, people got kind of upset. And I'm not going to assemble that quite yet, because I want to research a bit more. Get that rocket safety up a little bit. And I think 82 will be alright for that. And I'll also need a capsule. Capsule with safety factor 5. Yeah, that we're going to put a man in that. And give him a 5% chance to live. Yeah, that's going to take a while. But more about the history leading up to the race into space. You know, after World War II, the USA and USSR didn't exactly become the best of friends, especially on how they split control of Berlin. So, then happened the Kre Korean War, and it was the Forgotten War, but it is basically North and South. They split, yes. And I should check out my mission. I should assemble my hardware. 71% with that Atlas rocket. Indeed. So yeah, it's democracy versus communism. Which is the superior philosophy. Politics aside, let's schedule this mission. Now we could try to do it early and try to beat the Soviets, but we take a penalty, and it costs more. I'll take my risk and have it no rush. And it looks like everything's about ready to go there. So we click on our flag, and prepare to launch our mission. Indeed. So let's have a look. Now I could do the standard. I could do the full video, which includes CD images. Or I could choose to scrub the mission if I think eh, it's not safe enough. Frack it. We're launching. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we have liftoff. We're doing pretty good here. You see the bar down, the bars down where it will appear. And if one of them is red, that means a step fail. But you see it's blue and green. Green means what it rolled against my safety factor, which is in the blue. So we had a pretty good launch. So let's have the baby really go into the orbital insertion burn, which will be our next step. That's a lovely liftoff, but it's not dead at all. Right away, Houston. Trajectory's good. Trust is good. Right, 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 right. 
And it looks like we had a good orbital insertion burn. Indeed. Getting past that at atmosphere and it's burning. It's going to be one of the bane of my existence. But unfortunately for me, something didn't turn on. And it gives you a nice little reason here. Power drain. Communications all off, so thus it is mission failure. <sighs> now step fa failure doesn't necessarily mean the mission will be over. But in this case, since there are only three steps, and if you can't turn your satellite on, it looks pretty bad. Indeed. Now we could try to schedule another launch for 1959. Good evening, development in the news today. And we might want the to. The space program has lost several key research scientists Ouch. in a very short period of time. This setback will mean weaker results in research and development. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkwright. And it looks like the CIA has something to report for us. And more historical news in orange there. And that was Culture Walkwright. So let's see what's up with the CIA. Well, first of all, the president isn't very happy. Or the vice president, rather. So, to the Pentagon we go. They don't have any intelligence for us yet. But they have a file case. Oh my. Operation Jump Bug. The Soviets are trying an orbital satellite. So they're just trying the same thing we are. Computer will always try a orbital satellite first. Then they'll try launching people into space. Just into the orbital. Also, helicopter. So we should make a plan. I said we should make a plan. Indeed, we'll try that again. And this time we don't have to purchase our components until the next season. But I'm going to purchase them anyway. And you notice, of course, our satellite and our rocket were lost. You'll always need to buy purchase a new rocket. But fortunately, it's only three this time. And our satellite is only one. And I'm going to maximize that safety factor on that rocket. I think I can do it with four. It's random sometimes. But... Of course, our effect was decreased. Thank you, Walter Cronkite. Ahem. Not much more we can do this round. Good evening, development in the news today. A major corporation has decided to credit the Space Agency additional funds for the sea. Wow, I'm getting and some luck here. I'm Carter Walkwright. Oh yes, there's also sports news. You'll see who wins the title, a boxing, football, etc. And sometimes some really re irrelevant information. Speaking of irrelevant, we should assemble this thing. I should also mention about payload. How much a rocket can carry? A s Explorer satellite isn't that heavy. It's only 300. But we'll need bigger rockets to carry bigger things. Like our new capsules. Yes, indeed. I should put some research into that. But first, I want to one man capsule to get all right. 
Each higher step will carry one more astronaut. Mini shuttle is a little bit different. I'll have to explain it later, along with the Jupiter, once we get to them. Now to help out these rockets, if you want to stick to the rocket you have, a cheaper solution is to go with boosters, but they're also more dangerous. Because heck, them rockets can start getting expensive for each one you buy. But before we launch, we must visit talk to Mission Control. Crown Control to Major Tom. It doesn't work like that, Magma. Then we'll try to launch that satellite again. So I'm gonna be a little quiet and play the whole CD version type. The original game was put out in, I believe, 1999, and then they made a CD version of it about a year later. And then in 2005, this version came out, the GNU version. So I'm going to be quiet and say before I leave, pray. T minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, lift off. Have a 14 PSI, oxygen is go. And because our mission was successful, we earned quite a bit of prestige. A lot more because we were first in the space for that orbital satellite. A resounding success. And when I come back, we're going to see what happens in fall of 1959.